Panzer powered production. Now you, you, you might say, well, what makes this a Panzer powered production? Well, the fact that my phone, on which I'm filming this, the completely shot battery in it, by the way, is now charging from its U USB charger uh, that we showed in the last episode, uh, plugged into the Panzer. And we have 258.5 volts DC for you here tonight. So, we've seen what you can run from DC so far. But tonight's time for the big one, you know. So you can have light, you can have internet, you can have a laptop, you can shave. Uh, you can run angle grinders, welders, you know, all the kind of general household things that uh, everybody needs. But what about the greatest invention of the 20th century? Television. Yes. And general home entertainment. That's what we're going to focus on this evening, folks. My backside gets very cold right now because I'm sitting on a concrete floor like a moron. Anyway. So, beside me here. We have a 32 inch um, HD ready LCD TV. This was my first ever LCD and first ever HD TV um, that I bought, uh, I believe in 2007. It's uh, been still working strong. I've had it in storage now for a, for a while, probably about a year, maybe a year and a half. So, decided to uh, bring it out of retirement today, and we're going to hit it with some Panzer juice and uh, see if it likes DC. Um, on the back, looking at the product label, uh, it says 100 to 240 volts, 50 60 hertz AC, made in PRC, wherever. Uh, so, that's a very good sign. That tells us that it's got a switch mode power supply in there, as most of these TV sets have. So let's, without further ado, don the safety glasses and crank this thing up. Alright, let's see here. A load of old leads here, but I should have a... We've got a VGA we can connect later. I think I've got a HDMI back here, but more importantly than any of that for a minute. Um, yeah, yeah we've, got a, we've got a HDMI here as well, so that's going to be handy. Most importantly is the power lead. So here we go, 258.5 volts DC. There was a little uh, dip in it there for a second. I hope that doesn't mean it's just exploded. Um, so we've got power here. Let's do a baseline here on AC. See if we have killed it. Oh no, it's alive. Igor. Okay, so the TV likes AC. Um, yet doesn't seem to like DC. This is a new one. It's pretty sure it would like DC. Okay. Aha! Now we're on. So this plug, this is a European um, socket, TV's on, and it lets you flip the polarity. So, yeah, it's just a one way around and uh, there must have been a blocking diode or some component in there that wasn't letting the DC in. Uh, but the AC, of course, because it's going back and forth, had no problems. So, all right. Our TV is now running uh, from our DC supply. It's like dropping the voltage to 258.2 there because we've got a load on it. So now we need some kind of a, something we're going to run from this thing. So let's, um, I know, let's uh, try our laptop from last night. I think that'll fit. Yay. 
HDMI is in. And as before, we've got no battery in this particular laptop. So we gotta get rid of the multimeter. Plug in the power supply. Uh, I think the power leads on. Which side of it's on? Here it is. Alright. And laptop on. And the laptop should boot up. And hopefully, when it does boot up, we get a picture on the TV. Yay! Then we can try some home entertainment crap. I've got an old satellite box here we can try out. It's just interesting about the polarity there. Yeah, I didn't didn't expect that quite to happen that way. Oh, oh, oh! We're getting a picture. We're getting a picture. We're definitely getting a picture here. So we're charging the phone camera, and we're uh, yeah, we're getting a picture. There it is. Oh my God! What was that? It's figuring itself out. Yay! Go Panzer! Go Panzer! We have. go. Should uh, shut itself down. There we go. All right. TV's working. So let's get rid of that HDMI. Uh, and let's get rid of the laptop. Now, all right, so what else have I got for us here? I have an old uh, satellite receiver. Now this one so it's a digital satellite receiver. It says AC 100 to 240 volts, uh, 50, 60 hertz, 25 watts maximum. I'm pretty sure this is just going to work. So let's see what happens. I haven't powered this up in a long time. Um, have no idea even if it still works, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Oh, the switch on the back. There you go. That's got to help. Yay! Got some lights on the front. All right, let's plug it in. Got our old, good old Irish HDMI lead, the, the SCART cable. All right, what are we at here? I remember even where these are. Oh, yeah, they're on the side. Ah, SCART 1, SCART 1. Yeah. The bane of my life back in the day, scar cables. Did more soldering on those than a lot of things. TV. Oh yeah, there's something happening. Eh, none. Okay. It's not a good start, is it? We're on channel 557 according to this. Now. I'm going to make a real arse out of myself. Oh, hang on, hang on. Source. Uh, channel. Uh, Scart one. That's usually how you select them, isn't it? There you go. Check your antenna cable. Uh, that's our satellite receiver working from... There you go. There's our satellite receiver working from Panzer Juice. Um, so we're charging the phone, we are running the TV, and we're running a satellite box uh, from Panzer, Panzer Voltage. Um, so this is a kind of home entertainment section, folks. Right, I'm probably seriously going to regret this one. This uh, is my 160 amp welder. Or in this case, it's an arc welding inverter. Um, I've been like that for a long time now, so uh, I'm kind of feeling scared here, oh, here folks. Uh, I'm really scared here. This could go bad. This could go bad.
Okay. Yeah, that won't work because of the fan. The welder itself works, but the cooling fan won't because it's an AC cooling fan, of course. So, bummer. All right. Well, actually, let's try something here for a minute. Maybe an AC cooling fan, and it probably won't really like me for hitting it with DC, but in a pinch, I think we could probably, I think we could probably still weld with this thing. Uh, let's see if we can. I'm pretty sure we probably can. Uh, let's go electrode negative. And it just crank the pot up to around 130 amps or so. Uh, welding rod, a piece of scrap. And we'll just give this a very quick test. I'm pretty sure it probably will work. Um, give me a 3.2 mil rod there. Come on. A uh, bit of scrap I use here for welding. Yeah, the cooling fan is the my kind of problem here, guys. So, here we go. Just gonna plug in. Yeah. Welding by by feel here, so there we go, guys. I'm gonna plug that out because. I don't want to kill the fan in there. Um, I could probably convert that fan uh, to run from a different voltage, but uh, <laughs> we were just welding. Um, we were just welding with the Panzer battery uh, through an inverter. Not bad.